hello everyone um it's been a while since i made a proper video i did a quick one of me um neo geo that was the first one for a very long time but this is my christmas one uh just saying what i got for christmas what i've been doing i hope you all had a nice christmas ours was a bit hectic with out of hours doctors and hospitals and all things like that um in the end it wasn't anything to be honest it was nothing um but what i got for christmas this year the main thing i got is i just wanted to show this it's an Amiga 600. Now, I've actually got an Amiga 500 and decided to go for the 600 because mostly it's half the size um, and secondly, it can read CF cards or compact flash cards and put games on that. Um, the Commodore Amiga 500 is basically the same spec as this. It's got um, the half meg upgrade in it, so it's got one mega RAM. But it literally is, this is half the size and if many people know the Commodore Amiga's a lot of the games needed the keyboard as well as the joystick. Like if, if you're playing like air type, you press the space bar to send off your, your probe thing. Um, so with Amiga now, they found it's actually down in one of the cupboards because it's too big. And this one I'm hoping to actually get on the side somewhere, actually out. Um, so that's one of the main reasons. And the second reason, as I said, is the CF card. You can copy loaded games onto it and load it from there. Um, yesterday I spent about four hours getting it working because it basically required it using WinUAE um, setting up um, workbench files and I do I know nothing about Amigas. I don't know which version I could have on a trap put three on um, and it wouldn't format the drives or something. I think the boot I think the um, workbench discs are all corrupt or something like that. So I went to 2.5, it didn't detect the drive, the, uh, the compact flash drive properly. Uh, I had to put that in manually and then when I did it it won't format because it seems like workbench 2.5 can't have over a gigabyte drive so I had to split it into three or four gigabyte drives all sorts anyway i got everything on there double clicked on an icon it basically says you've not got enough memory because workbench is loaded it's used memory that means it's not one megabyte free to actually play the game so uh, more memory is on its way so hopefully i'll have two megabyte on this and majority of the games will work but not to fret um i've actually got an application on the commodore omega called uh, adf to disk and all i simply to do is put the adf files onto the compact flash and I type in a command, it's basically ADF to disk, and type the name of the ADF file on the compact flash, and it copies to a floppy disk. Um, it takes probably about a minute at the remote, so I can actually run it from the floppy disk. So here's um, one of the games. I've, uh, I had this on the Commodore 64. It is a classic game. Um, it's, I think it's a part of a series, because I think there was, a, there was International Karate. Um, it's basically one of those. I think there's International Karate, and there's International Karate 2. And then there's this. Um, absolutely brilliant. So, I'm sure you've guessed what it is by now because you've probably read the fucking title before um, you loaded up the, um, the YouTube video. But anyway. <laughs> so, um, here we go. Uh, I'm going to play RK Plus on the Commodore Amiga. I've had this on the Commodore 64, I've played it a lot, but I've never played it on the Amiga, so this is going to be a new thing. And it's probably been about five or six years, probably longer than that, since I actually played it. So, um, here it is Commodore Amiga, RK Plus. Here we are at the loading screen. Good old fashioned loading screens. With this computer, I got to the Amiga 600. I got a quick shot joystick, which is actually quite nice, very clicky. You can probably hear that. Um, about 200 discs, an external floppy drive for some reason. Is that it? And there's actually a few boxed games as well, actually. Um, not a chance to go through the uh, all the floppy discs. Most of them are copies. I must say though, the computer came, it absolutely reeked of smoke. I'm not joking, it's probably the worst smelling things that smell the smoke I've ever experienced. It's absolutely disgusting. Um, and ironically, one of the discs that was with this big pile of discs was called um, Three Ways to Quit Smoking. Obviously, neither way worked because it reeked. It smells gone now, I must say. Um, I think it was more the packages in the box. Anyway, here we go. This is IK Plus. Here we go. It's very much like Intasocrati and with Exploding Face, but there's three of you. Bollocks. Bollocks. Now, what you've got to do is either come. Oh, basically, not come last, but address. Oh my god, like. He, he, the red second now. Oh my god, a red second by a lot. Oh. Come on. Don't. Oh my. I'm out already. Oh. 
What you're going to do basically do is come. Turn the volume down of the microphone, it's going mad. Uh, what you've got to do is basically not come last. As you can see at the top of the screen, there's, there's circles representing your um, hits. I think if you get a good face hit, you get two points. If you get like a mediocre hit, you get one point. But it's the first to fill the, how many is it, six circles? Wins. And then whoever second still goes through and whoever comes last is disqualified. Uh, there's actually a thing with this, so if you press T and hold down T, you can't scroll down. Anyway. There's other buttons as well to change the background. Oh. It's too busy congratulating myself for getting the red guy, but uh... Oh, I got him! Right. Get me a... Uh... Get me kill on. If you play two player with this, um, oh, I thought it was the red one. I think one of you controls the red one instead. Oh, got him. Uh, and the red and the white person start right next to each other. I got him first. This is not looking good. We don't want blue to get any one. If anything, I want the red to hit me. I'll do it. Because the red hit me and I got one point. I still go through. Yeah, this is a great... It looks a bit chubby there. Yeah, this is actually an awesome game on the Commodore 64. I used to make it black belt on it. Uh, they look very similar as well, to be honest. The graphics on the Commodore 64 version are very good. These are good considering it's an early Mega game. 1987, I think. Kick. I have actually got people, two people that split kick. I think you still only get two points for it as well. Ooh. Yes. Bit of a. Uh... Ooh. That had a lot. Sound very much like Bruce Lee's sample. That sound. Oh, Bruce Lee make a take. To yellow belt. Kick. Don't have this one on the common road, I think. In 64. Let's do this bonus round a bit. No. I think you can hear me a little loud away from it as well. Which is not good. Anyway, let's leave it at that. That is IK Plus on the Commodore Amiga. I think... I think some of the uh, consoles get a bit too much love. And we tend to forget about the good old Amiga and the Commodores and the uh, Amstrads and the Spectrums. I think I'm going to give it a bit of love. Uh, in, in a showing you what it can do, not a... Uh, type of way. Anyway, um, everybody, as usual, thanks for watching. Um, I hope to have a video soon and keep on gaming. Until next time.